David Aluafamayadu Ami Abdul Latif Fani Kaodi is a Nigerian politician, essayist, poet and lawyer. He was a member of the ruling People's Democratic Party. He was with the opposition's All Progressive Congress until June 2014 when he returned to the ruling People's Democratic Party. Although his family lineage originates from Osun, he was born in Lagos, Nigeria. On October 16, 1960, to Chief Victor Babara Milikan Adetok and Bofani Kaodi and to Chief Adia Adani Fani Kaodi. He is an Eel Ife chieftain of Yoruba descent. Fani Kaodi was the special assistant to President Alushkan Obazanjo from July 2003 until June 2006. He was appointed the Minister of Culture and Tourism of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from June 22 to November 7, 2006 and as the Minister of Aviation from November 7, 2006 to May 29, 2007. Background and Education Femi Fani Kaodi comes from a prominent Nigerian family. His great-grandfather, the Reverend Emmanuel Adedapo Kaodi, was one of the earliest Nigerians to be educated in England receiving an M.A. from the University of Durham, after which he became an Anglican priest. His grandfather, Victor Adedapo Kaodi, studied law at Cambridge University and became a lawyer and a judge. His father Victor Barbara Milikan Adetok and Bofani Kaodi, who was also at Cambridge was a prominent lawyer and political figure in Nigeria in the 1950s and 1960s. He was leader of the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon's opposition in the Western House of Assembly from 1960 to 1963, the Honorable Minister of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs and Deputy Premier of the Western Region of Nigeria from 1963 until 1966 and he successfully moved the motion for Nigeria's independence in 1958 in the Nigerian Parliament. Femi Fani Kaodi started his education at the age of eight at Brighton College, Brighton in the UK after which he went to Homewood House School in Tunbridge Wells, Kent, South East England. He entered Harrow School in Harrow on the Hill, United Kingdom and later into Kelly College in Tavistock, UK, where he completed the rest of his public school education. In 1980 Femi Fanny Kaodi went to the University of London, School of Oriental and African Studies where he graduated with an LLB law degree in 1983. He entered Cambridge University where his grandfather, his father and his older brother, Akinola had all previously read law. Victor Adedapo Kaodi, Femi's grandfather, was called to the British Bar in 1922 and his father, Remy Fanny Kaodi, was called to the British Bar in 1945. After finishing from Cambridge, Femi Fanny Kaodi went to the Nigerian Law School and in 1985 was called to the Nigerian Bar. In 1993, under the tutelage of Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams of Ghana, Femi Fanny Kaodi became a Pentecostal Christian. He decided to go back to school to study theology at the Christian Action Faith Bible Seminary in Accra, Ghana, gaining a diploma in theology in 1995. Political career Femi Fanny Kaodi was a member of the Nigerian National Congress in 1989. He was elected the national youth leader of NNC that same year. In 1990, he was appointed as chief press secretary to Chief Tom Aikmi, the first national chairman of the National Republican Convention and in 1991 as special assistant to Alhaji Omarush Kafi, former head of the Nigerian security organization. In 1996, disturbed by the actions of General Sani Abacha's military junta, Femi Fani Kaodi left Nigeria and joined the National Democratic Coalition abroad where, together with the likes of the Oxford University trained lawyer Chief Tundedu and others, he played a very active role in the fight against Abacha. He came back to Nigeria in 2001 and met President Olujgan Obazanjo. At the beginning of 2003, Femi Fani Kaodi was appointed by the president as a member of his presidential campaign team for the 2003 presidential election. After President Obazanjo won that election Femi Fani Kaodi was appointed as the first ever special assistant on public affairs to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In 2006 he was appointed as the Honorable Minister of Culture and Tourism. That same year, after a minor cabinet reshuffle, he was redeployed to the Aviation Ministry as the Honorable Minister of Aviation. 
Since the end of the tenure of President Alushkan Obazanjo's administration on May 29, 2007, Femi Fani Kaodi has gone back to the private sector and to his legal practice. Challenges and Allegations Femi Fani Kaodi was investigated and arrested by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission in July 2008 in connection with the alleged misappropriation of a 19.5 billion Naira Aviation Intervention Fund. The investigation found no evidence against him. The Senate Committee on Aviation in early 2008 initially recommended that Fanny Kaodi be banned from holding public office for five years but withdrew the request when he had not violated any law. At the beginning of 2010, there was speculation that a power struggle had begun in Nigeria with President Obazanjo and his loyalists pushing for Yaratua to step down and hand over power to his vice president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. Yaratua's loyalists resisted this suggestion and part of their response to that challenge was to implement another strategy to try to silence and intimidate President Obazanjo and his key loyalists like El Rufai, Fanny Kaodi, Rai Baidu, Lawal Bakagurwa, Ninadi Usman and Andy Yuba by accusing them of plotting a coup. This was the same method that was adopted by General Sani Abacha who had jailed Obazanjo on similar charges when he was in power. General Obazanjo was released and pardoned a number of years later after Abacha died and after General Abdul Salami Abubakar took power. In November 2010, Fanny Kaodi said that Yaratwa sought to jail and destroy his predecessor in office in the man that single handedly brought him to power, President Alushkan Obazanjo, as well as his loyalists, including Al Rufai, Rai Baidu, and Fanny Kaodi himself. He also alleged that Barbagana Kinjib, the secretary to the federal government during the Yaratwa administration, was the principal enforcer of that plan and that Yaratwa administration officials James Ibri, Tanamuye Kabu, Atharuma and Michael Aindokar were also involved. Arrested by EFCC, Fanny Kaodi was arrested on December 2008 by the EFCC and charged with 47 counts of money laundering. Fanny Kaodi stated that he was innocent and that the monies were funds received from his own private businesses and legitimate sources and had nothing to do with government funds. He said that the investigations of the Yaratwa government and the EFCC were politically motivated, and he was being persecuted in the same way as other colleagues from the Obazanjo government, such as Nasir Ahmad El Rufai and Urai Baidu, for their ties to President Obazanjo. Fanny Kaodi discharged and acquitted of money laundering charges, Mr. Femi Fanny Kaodi, was discharged and acquitted on July 1 by a federal high court sitting in Lagos on the two-count charge of money laundering preferred against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The court held that the EFCC was unable to prove the charges against Fanny Kaodi beyond reasonable doubt and consequently acquitted him. In his Victory Press statement Fanny Kaodi changed his name from Aluofamai Fanny Kaodi to Aluofamai Aluk Kaodi. According to him this was done as a mark of gratitude to God following his acquittal of all the remaining money laundering charges that were brought against him by the EFCC. Fanny Kaodi had fought the case since July 1, 2008 and he was finally cleared of all the remaining charges that had not been dismissed earlier on July 1, 2015. This was seven years to the day after his ordeal first started. Kaodi had fought the case since 2008 was accused by the EFCC to have laundered about N100M while he was Minister of Culture and Tourism and subsequently Aviation Minister. The allegedly laundered sum was however reduced to N2.1M on November 17, 2014 after Justice Ofelai Ajumagobia dismissed 38 out of the 40 counts leveled against Fanny Kaodi by the EFCC for want of proof. Poems and Essays In November 2009, before Yaratua fell ill, Fanny Kaodi wrote a poem titled I Stand and I Fight. In this poem, he described Yaratua as a sickly tyrant with an Amalekite foundation, and he predicted that his end would soon come. Fanny Kaodi wrote other poems over the last few years. In January 2010 and approximately two months after Yaratwa left Nigeria and was flown to Saudi Arabia on medical grounds, there were strong speculations in the country that the president was dead, was in a deep coma or was simply so sick that he could not even speak or get up from his sick bed in his Saudi Arabian hospital. 
This resulted in a power vacuum in Nigeria as a consequence of which a constitutional crisis began to unfold. The president's supporters and cabinet ministers, led by his wife Churai Yaradua, resisted the suggestion that the vice president should take over power whilst the president was incapacitated even though this was what the Nigerian constitution prescribed. Fanny Kaodi added his voice to that of President Obazanjo, President Chu Shigari, General Yekabu Gowan, Ernest Shonkan and other former heads of government, former cabinet ministers, former legislators, leading opposition figures and leading members of the ruling PDP party by publicly calling for the resignation of President Urajua and for the transference of power to Vice President Goodluck Jonathan at that critical time. To convey his view Fanny Kaodi wrote a satire in Next newspaper and titled it Corsology, Amara's Gift to the Modern World. In the article Fanny Kaodi suggested that by insisting on ruling Nigeria from his sickbed in Saudi Arabia and through his acolytes and wife, the president and his supporters were not just breaching the Nigerian constitution but that they were also surreptitiously introducing an entirely new and alien system of government into Nigeria destroying democracy and attempting to perpetuate themselves in power through that new system indefinitely. He argued that this was being done by the authorities even where it was clear that the president was already half dead. Fanny Kaodi defined his concept of causeology as the rulership of the living by the dead, and the thrust and intent of his satire was to clearly convey the message that the attempt to introduce this hitherto unknown system of government into Nigeria by Urajua, his wife and his kitchen cabinet was unacceptable and must not be allowed to stand. On August 7, 2010 Fanny Kaodi wrote another article titled Charles Taylor, A Man Betrayed in which he described the events and circumstances leading up to the extradition of the infamous former president of Liberia Charles Taylor from Nigeria, where he had been given refuge and asylum after a bitter war and crisis in his nation Liberia. Fanny Kaodi explained how Taylor ended up being handed back to Liberia and how he was then sent to the International Criminal Court at The Hague in the Netherlands to face charges of genocide and crimes against humanity. Fanny Kaodi had been the spokesman of President Obazanjo at that time, and in his essay he gave an account of how Taylor was betrayed by a number of parties and nations and detailed what he described as the treacherous and ignoble roles that U.S. President George W. Bush and President Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia played in the saga. He accused both America and Liberia of reneging on their word and on an earlier agreement on the Taylor issue and he alleged that they betrayed the confidence of the African Union, the economic community of West African states heads of government, Nigeria and President Obazanjo had placed in them. Finally he called for the trial of former President George W. Bush and Britain's former Prime Minister Tony Blair at the same International Criminal Court at The Hague for what he described as similar crimes against humanity as the ones that Taylor was being accused of. He alleged that they had committed these crimes during the illegal invasion of Iraq and the bombing of Baghdad in which he claimed that hundreds of thousands of defenseless and innocent Iraqi women and children were killed. The article was published the day after the sensational appearance of supermodel Naomi Campbell at the famous Blood Diamonds trial of Charles Taylor at The Hague. Fanny Kaodi was also involved in a debate about the mysterious circumstances under which Nigeria's first Prime Minister, Setafor Balia, lost his life. In two essays titled Fami Fanny Kaodi, Who Killed Setafor Balia? and The Death of Tafor Balia, The Sagano Sobel Angle, he opposed the view that Balia had died of natural causes which had been suggested by Chief M. T. Mbu, Nigeria's former foreign minister and Chief Sigano Soba, a former state governor, and he proffered the view that the prime minister had actually been murdered. Fanny Kaodi wrote other essays over the years. In 2011 he called for the crashing of the Islamic fundamentalist sect called Boko Haram which claimed responsibility for the deaths of hundreds of Nigerians in a campaign of terror and bombing in their quest to ban Western education and set up an Islamic fundamentalist caliphate in the whole of northern Nigeria. Family Femi Fanny Kaodi has been married three times. His first marriage was to Sir Baby Atta in 1987 but they were divorced by 1990. They have one daughter whose name is Alua Flake. The second marriage was to Yemisayola Sambo Adniji in 1991 but they were divorced by 1995. They have three daughters whose names are Aluatimatope, Aluatobilaba and Aluatumanu. 
the third marriage was to Regina Patience Amanu. They were married in 1997 and are still married till today. They have one daughter whose name is Alua Amilikon. His brother, Rotmi Fanny Kaodi, was a renowned and influential artist and photographer who founded of the Association of Black Photographers and who passed on in 1989 due to complications from HIV infection. David Aluafamiaduami Abdul Latif Fanny Kaodi, described the Igbos, an ethnic group in Nigeria of more than 40 million people as collectively unlettered, uncouth, uncultured, unrestrained and crude in all their ways. He has defended his views strongly. References External links The website of Chief Femi Fanny Kaodi about his works and family background